Hello everybody, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I wanted to do something a little bit retro for YouTube today, whether it's still retro, I don't know. I don't know whether people still do this. Um, I was going to do my January faves. Today is the 31st of January, so it's the last day of January today. I've had a really good January. I know January is a bit, generally, January is generally a bit just not the best, not thriving, not not kind of loving it. Um, my birthday's in January, so I always try and force myself to enjoy it. But I've had a really good January. It's been really epic and awesome and fun. Um, and obviously you saw my birthday vlog, if you haven't, go watch it. But yeah, I just wanted to sort of like talk through the beauty bits, tech bits, lifestyle bits that I've been using, hair bits that I've been using in January and really enjoying. Um, let me know if this is something you like and I can do like a February one as well and we can sort of take it from there. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just jump in and show you guys my bits and bobs. Hey, what up girl? So first fave, this is a sort of like triple part, but my La Roche-Posay Effaclar sort of like duo, duo set that I've got. So it's a gel cleanser, toner, and then the, it's like a moisturiser, but it's like an anti-imperfection moisturiser. Um, I got these for Christmas from Lee for my Secret Santa that we did in my family, and they are insane like i saw so many tiktok reviews of them and i always sort of think like oh people just jump on the bandwagon with these trend things it's quite strong i will say that it's not for the faint-hearted okay girlies um or boys and um i use this every i use it in the morning i don't use it at night because um you're supposed to use it with spf so i use it in the morning but honestly my skin i mean i've got makeup on at the moment and i'm having a bit of a psoriasis flare-up it happens um but my skin, she's kind of thriving. She's kind of sliving and, and slaying the house down. Um, so yeah, first January faves. These are quite pricey as well. This was 50 pound for all three of these, but honestly, they are worth it. Just please make sure that you wear sun cream and like moisturize properly. I'd put moisturizer over the top of this as well, but it's up to you. Moving on from moisturizer. I feel like I'm not focused. Okay, um, moving on from moisturizer. I've been using this for years because I, always get like psoriasis patches on my um on my face i've got one there you can't really see it because i've got makeup on but this is the wellada skin food wellada um i know that hayley bieber's kind of jumped on this very recently but it's really i'll show you um i've done this in one of my skincare videos before but i'll show you i'm running out it's really thick that you can kind of see it's feels it feels really like luxurious um, and I put this on my face. I normally put it on at night to sort of like slug with it. Um, or I put it on in the morning if I want my, if I know I'm going to be wearing a lot of makeup, I want quite a hydrated base before I, um, you know, put like foundation over the top of it. So I use this almost like a primer essentially. Um, and my friend Daisy used it the other day and she was like, I'm going to get that. That's really good. And it's literally six pounds. Like, and it, it smells really nice as well. Um, it's for like really dry, rough skin. You can use it on your hands. I use it on my face. You can use it anywhere that's dry. It's like all skin safe. Um, and it's with precious organic ingredients. So this is really good. A must have always. My last little skincare bit, I got this in December, but I haven't actually talked about it yet. It's the Sikapair Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So it's this tiny little jar but when you open it it's green but like you can sort of see this is such a disgusting way of showing you like you can sort of see in the lid it's color correcting so where um you've got like red patches so like for example i'll put it like sort of like around my nose or on my cheeks because i get quite red on my cheeks um and i'll i will wear this instead of foundation if i'm like having a bit of a no makeup day i'll literally whack a bit of this on light moisturizer rub it in and then just like do my eyebrows and my mascara. And this is quite pricey as well. I think this was like £16 for quite a small pot. But you don't, unless you've got consistently red skin. Like I sort of just use it if my skin's irritated. Or if I'm having like a flare up or anything like that. Or if you're sunburn. Um, not in this weather we're not. But 
I have been loving this in January when I'm not really feeling those sort of like hard makeup days just because of the weather. I don't want to be sort of having to wake up. It's pitch black and I've got a whole face of makeup on. I wake up, get an extra 20 minutes in bed, whack a bit of this bad boy on and then I've just got to do my eyes. Simple, gorgeous and it smells nice as well. It smells like, um, I don't know, it just smells really clean and fresh. So that's my skincare bits. Disclaimer. Um, my camera died and then I went to the gym and then I went for a swim um, That was about four hours ago. So we're gonna jump straight back into it. I do apologize for the outfit change I'm in my bummies now um, And my hair needs washing. It's not in my nice slick back bun that it was in earlier. Ignore that. It's exactly the same video Exactly the same me. We're just gonna carry on. Where I got cut off last time I was speaking about my Kylie lip gloss. This is from my friend Kay. I got it for my birthday It's in the shade Coco K and it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a really thick gloss, but it goes on really, I'm not gonna put it on now, but it goes on like really nicely. It looks really, it makes my lips look really plump. Um, I did pay a lot for my lips to look nice and plump, but this helps. Um, and it's really good. And it's like a really nice neutral shade. Like I can wear this if I've got loads of makeup on, I can wear this if I haven't got much makeup on. Um, and it smells quite nice as well. Oh, I just, I just got on my nose. It smells really nice to be fair. And look at the packaging, so cute. I wish I was one of those girlies that like got on the Kylie lip thing when it first came out, but I was poor and I didn't, but now I have one. Yay. That's the last of my sort of like makeup skincare bits. Moving on to, let's do jewelry. So like, I did a Monica Veneda big haul the other day. Um, I have got a discount code for Monica Veneda. Get some really cute jewellery, especially with sort of like spring and summer coming through. Um, I'll pop that in the description down below. You get 20% off. Bargain. Um, so I got this ring, which is called the Fiji Cuff Ring in gold. And it's the same as my Fiji Cuff bracelet that I've got from Monica Veneda as well. It's really cute, like, when it's on it kind of looks, I don't know, I just thought it was a bit different and a bit fun, and like I say, it matches my bracelet. And then I got this gorgeous bracelet as well, because all of my jewellery is just solid gold, like there's no sort of dimension to it. So I got this one, mainly for summer to be fair, I'm not going to wear it yet, um, with the pearls, just because I thought this with a, with a tan is just going to be unreal. I feel like pearls, I know they're sort of coming in, but I feel like pearl and gold is going to be going to be a thing. It's going to be 2023 summer little look. Then from Monica Venedra as well, this really tiny, dainty little chain bracelet. Um, just to sort of like break up my jewellery really. Quite a lot of my jewellery is quite like statement pieces, chunky bracelets. So I just wanted something that I can like just constantly have on. Um, and it's going to look nice with other bracelets as well. And then the last thing that I got from Monica Veneda is this gorgeous necklace. It's part of their Valentine's collection. It's unreal and it sits like perfectly. I got this chain. It does come with a chain, but I bought a different one because um, I sort of preferred the links on this one. But I mean, you saw it in the video earlier. It just sits so nicely, but I just think that's gorgeous. Like getting that, boys, if you're watching this, it will only be my boyfriend that's watching this and potentially my brother. Um, get that for your girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up hard and fast. All girls, get that for your girlfriend. Get it for your mum, whatever. They'll love it, it's absolutely stunning. So there's my jewelry bits. Moving on to more sort of like lifestyle bits. This is my pride and joy. This bad boy is my 2023 planner. When it turned to the new year, I don't know why, but for some reason I was so motivated. I was like, I'm gonna get my life sorted. Like, this is gonna be my year. I'm gonna have everything, ooh, I'm gonna have everything planned. Everything's gonna go the way it needs to go. I'm gonna manifest it. So I'll show you. I've got my monthly schedule. I've got my birthday on there. Uh, I've got my sort of like to-do lists and my goals. One of my goals was reach 340 subscribers, which I've not done. Um, and then it's got like a weekly planner as well. And I can put my video ideas in there, like TikTok ideas. Um, it's got sort of priorities at the top. 
and I just feel like it's been really good to sort of like keep me on top of things like once I've done something I can highlight it having a new notebook or a new planner or a new diary at the beginning of the year it is going to set the tone for the year okay I've got all my video ideas in it I'm not going to tell you what they are you'll have to keep your eyes peeled now just a few more random bits and bobs so just random bits um I've never been a pajama girl and I don't know why I've always been the classic like boys boxers and like a baggy t-shirt that I saw from my dad um but I've recently been getting into pajamas because there's nothing better than having your shower having your everything shower come back into your room and you put your jammies on unreal nothing better and I went into Boo Avenue in the new year when they had their new year sale and I got myself a few pairs of jammies actually but I'll show you these ones because they're my all-time favorites at the moment so it's just like a really cute little blue set to the top and it's sort of like polka dot I don't know if you can really see and it says dreamer and then a little short moment as well and I just think they're really cute like then one other random bit and I'm gonna have to take this off for this is my Instagram light you saw this in my um birthday vlog but this look how different is that ready wait before stop it and you can change pink that you can't see you can change it to green oh green flash there's loads of different modes as well i just haven't sort of fiddled with it um but this for my instagram pictures this for my youtube videos it has been unreal it's literally on amazon um i'm pretty sure you can just look up like phone light i'll have to ask lee because he got it for me for my birthday um but taking it for my instagram pictures just makes that quality that much better it's unreal i've really enjoyed it I really enjoy that light last two things this was but this was a big girl purchase for me and i've been debating it for so long um and i was gonna get the dyson air app spoiler and i just thought i can't justify paying 600 pound for a hairdryer like my friend daisy has one and she's done my hair with it before and in all fairness, we did put any like mousse or product in it, but it just didn't stay. And I thought, I'm not spending £600 to have to blow dry my hair every single day. So anyway, I got the Shark Styler instead. It doesn't look all pretty because I took it out of all its compartments in the box. But um, I got the, I think it's the stone colour. I can't remember. But this is unreal. I did my hair with it the other day and I just can't believe how quickly I was able to do my hair in it just it felt so smooth it was curled it had volume because i used this round brush bad boy it literally comes with all of the same things that the dyson air app comes with i did use my brother's student discount on this so this was 250 so it is expensive for a hair dryer like i'm not going to deny that but like i say being able to do my hair and it looks nice like there's nothing better. You're paying for the convenience there. You're paying to feel good. And I think, girls, I'm not being funny. You deserve it at the end of the day. Um, let me know. Comment down below if you want to see a get ready with me with my new shark hairdryer because I need to wash this mop soon. So that could be in the works very, very soon. But really enjoying that shark. I've only actually used it once. So that's going to be coming out a lot more this year. Last thing that I will say is one of my favourites for January and if you know me you know that I've been wearing these absolutely everywhere, even in the office, corporate girly. My fake uggies. These are not real Uggs, disclaimer. These are from Ego. These were, no word of a lie, £15. £15. They look exactly the same as the real Uggs. They are so comfy. Chuck these on, pair of leggings, these, jumper, sorted. Chuck these on, nice top. Did I say jeans, jumper? Pair of leggings, jumper, jeans, nice top, whatever. But these are definitely a staple. As if I'm paying full price for a pair of bags, I'm not being funny. You can shove it. So, that was my full January favourites. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know if you enjoyed this video and I can do another one in February. Um, I've already got quite a few things that I didn't mention in my January one that I'm looking to continue using and mention in my February one. Um, and also let me know if you want to see me do a get ready with me with that shark bad boy. Um, also like and subscribe. Please, thanks. 
Um, and I will see you next time. I'm going to do a closing transition because I'm doing a retro video, so I'm going to do a retro transition. Bye!